Hello everybody and welcome to Tony Tech's talk without Tony because Tony is now is not on, in, in the office right now and it's me, uh, Carlos Collantes, uh, filling in for him. I'm part of the professional services team and I'm normally in charge of the um, user trainings. So I normally uh, teach our users how to how to use the, the platform, obviously, and how to create the, the engines. So I'm here today to show you how a, a new um, feature that we just introduced, which is called Canton Academy. As you can see, this is this is our new uh, platform, and Canton Academy is placed on the on the side menu on the left menu here. You can always come here and check how it is. So if we go there, you can see Canton Academy is the resource that we use to allow our users to understand how to um, configure their machine translation engines. So as um, we wanted to give you and our users um, a bit more of control of their engines, we developed a course, well, not only one, three courses which, uh, which are gathered here in Canton Academy to let them know more about how to create, how to build, uh, how to improve, and how to deploy their engines. What we, want, what we wanted to introduce here in these courses is uh, the steps that we normally follow to create uh, engines. So we create the engine, and then after creating the engine, we evaluate the engine, and we try to, to uh, improve this engine by all the, means that, that, all the means that we can access through the platform. And after that, we move into the, into the custom, customization phase. And this is all the knowledge that we want to show, that we uh, normally use to develop the engines. So we gather that into three courses uh, and we publish them into Canton Academy. As you can see here, we have three courses, which are um, Canton MT 101, Canton MT Professional, and Canton MT Super User. Uh, each of them are um, are to be done after the other one, so it means that Canton 101 is the is the most basic one. After that, we recommend everybody to go into Canton MT Professional, and after that, uh, last of them, go into uh, Canton MT uh, Super User. Um, uh, we'll show you today how these um, courses are structured, what is going to be uh, taught into each of them, and I will um, I will walk with you through Canton MT 101, this first course that we have, so you can see how it is how it is um, uh, structured and how it looks. For the moment, we only have published. We have only published um, uh, MT one on one, and we are currently working on MT professional and MT super user that will be, uh, which will be uh, released in the next uh, months, in the next few months. So now, if we go into Canton MT one on one, as you can see, this is the most basic course uh, where we try to give here an overview of the platform. Uh, try to introduce what uh, custom machine translation is, um, an introduction to our platform, obviously, and we will show you how to create the engines, how to build them, what is necessary, uh, how to create your, how to gather your your uh, training data, introduce them in the engine, and build it after um, after several iterations then we we will all we, we will also see uh, canton fleet we will go into that in, in a moment we will go into canton fleet which are the pre-built engines that we have uh, already introduced in the in the platform and that are already available to our, our of our users we will show that to you in a, in a moment so for now Canton MT Professional, this is the next um, course, uh, which is not ready, as I just told you. Uh, here, what we want to do is give you a more advanced view of the platform. So here, as you can see, we will show you how to measure the quality of the engines by using the 
the uh, automatic scores that we introduced there and the reports that are available to all our users with, with Build Analytics. And after that, we will show you how to translate and analyze any, any, any document with the platform directly there, how to integrate the CAD tools, uh, all of them, the connectors that we have, how to use the API, and then we will move a bit more into customization by showing you how to use the, the post-editing uh, automated um, rules or PEX rules and the preprocessors. So you will you will get to master how to use these rules to, to customize the input and the output of your engines. And last of them, uh, last of all, uh, you will be able to, to have an overview of Canton LQR, which is the, the the platform you will know it already is the platform that we use to evaluate the linguistic quality of our engines by introducing the the, the output and checking that through our linguists. Um, we will go through these scores once it's finished. Right now, we are it's still in development as well as as the super user, but uh, we're we're already working on them really hard. So the last of the courses, the MT Super User, it's giving you an overview and um, of of the most advanced um, features that you can find in the Canton MT platform. So you will be learning uh, how to customize your output a bit more by using different tools that are available uh, in 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 the platform. You, can, you will be able to use aliases to configure the engines and to gather them, so you will be able to perform um, several um, uh, tasks through the, through the aliases, like connecting the widgets. Uh, probably you would know the widgets already. They are, they are published here in the, in the, in the platform. Um, they, are, they are used just to deploy the engines a bit more by, by uh, introducing, for example, the, um, um, a plugin in, in the browser or um, sending the files to translation uh, automatically by dragging them directly from your desktop. So they, they are really useful to deploy the engines that you have already trained. Apart from that, we will show you, we will give you uh, an overview of how to use the regex that are, that are accepted in our rules. So we will, we will dig a bit deeper into how to get the maximum out of these uh, regex, regular expressions, obviously. And then we will show you how to use the runtime glossaries to customize the translation. So runtime glossaries are the glossaries that you use to, to be applied to any of your translation projects separately from the training and from the training uh, glossaries. And um, they are a bit a bit delicate. So this is why we try we, we try to show them in the in the most advanced course that we give. But they're really powerful, so 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 this is why they're introduced here. Apart from that, you will be able to see how to pass different files. Um, if, you, if you need to create a new parser for uh, open formats like XML or DATA or any other format that you would need to customize for you, just so that the platform will be extracting the right text you need to translate every time and for every project. And last of all, you will be needing to, to create uh, tokenized exceptions whenever you find any, any problem or any issue that is related to tokenization of your documents and of your text, obviously. So this will be the last one. So now I will show you how to access the Canton MT 101. This is the first course. You will only need to come here to the Canton Academy um, uh, page and then go to MT 101 and press take the course. Quite easy. So you click here. You will be redirected to this page where you will need uh, you will need to introduce your email. So. Um, we ask for your email because this um, Canton Academy um, feature is thought to be a way of certifying our users. So you will be receiving a certification that you went through these courses, 
that you overcome several tasks that I will show you right away, for example, for this course. And then in the end, you will receive a, a, a certificate and a badge that you can add to your profiles if you want to. So this is why we ask you to, to identify yourselves. So you would introduce your email, follow the steps of the, of the uh, course, and at the last stage, you will have an assessment session just to, to check that you understood the, the, the course, and we'll give you the, the certificate once you overcome this assessment. This is, why, this is why we ask for your email. So I'm going to jump this step, and I will go directly to the to the to the next step. Once you introduce the the, the email, you will receive you will be checking this uh, page where you can find an introduction on what Canton Machine Translation 101 is about. As you can see, these have different topics you will be uh, you will be uh, addressing in the in the course. You see the experience level required right now. There's none because this is the most basic, and the practice that you will be that you will be performing in the platform and in the in the course itself. So, yes, to start, just click start course. We click here and we get here. As you can see, these are all the the topics that we will be uh, going through in this in this course. The first one, as I told you, it's an introduction into what uh, machine translation is, custom machine translation is. And to start any of them, as you can see, if you hover your mouse on top of them, you just need to click start on, on, on the image. As you can see, this is quite uh, intuitive, so you can, you can just follow your, your instinct and you will go into the next step quite easily. As you can see, there is always um, a number on each one of the topics, so you can just follow them in the right order. You can skip from one to another if you if you think so, but it's better just to follow the same order because you will be receiving the information as as you go. Uh, this way, you wouldn't be uh, jumping onto any any other um, information or missing anything. So, for example, if we click the next the, the first one, as you can see, you have here the index of the topics and you can see that you can hide that if you need or go back at any moment and after that you will see you have uh, some text i think this this first um uh, unit or a topic is uh, one of the, of the well it's one of, of uh, the ones that includes more text as you can see of uh, the wordiest one but uh, what we are trying to do is just introduce several um, uh, resources that will make your learning a bit easier. So for example, this one, it's only one, one unit on one page. If you click home at the end of it, you will go back, go into the following one. And here you can understand, you can see more words, or go home, or sometimes you will find two pages. For example, when you go to this one, into creating the content engine. So you see, you have videos, and you always find some practice. So this practice is conceived for you to give you um, a way of uh, applying and implementing the knowledge that you're getting in each one of these topics and put it into practice right after that. So as you can see here, we encourage you to go into your own profile of the Canton FT platform and perform some, some tasks like uh, go to the engines page, create a new, a new engine or a profile and try to add um, data or, or not. So you can go there and have some in um, yeah in hand on hand experience directly by going into the platform as you can see some of them this is what I wanted to show you earlier have um, some of them have uh, several pages so whenever you get to the bottom you can see next and you click there and you will go into the next uh, topic directly which is related to the same to the same unit so so you can see you follow that you are always you will always be finding some practice at the end of the of each one of the units so you can go through these and and practice yourself so as you can see we have several topics like the the the, the theoretical ones are the two ones the, the first one sorry the two first 
and then you can move into more practical like creating the engines how to uh, use different types of training data how to check the scores and the and the work counts that you will be receiving from the from your engines and what they mean and how to go through them. Then you will see um, a description of uh, build analytics and timeline like these uh, features and at the end of it, as you can see, we show you how to follow a right process to build an engine. An engine. So we normally share the same process that we follow uh, in, in, in in our professional service department, um, we follow the same process. So we introduce this knowledge here, so you can use it too for your for your own good. And the last one of the units, as you can see, is Canton Fleet. As I told you, these are the pre-built engines that we have uh, cleansed and prepared for our users. If you don't have too much data, so they can start using these engines and and evaluate their translation themselves. The last one of all the units is this assessment session. I will show you right away. So whenever you come here, you will receive some task and you will be asked to, to perform uh, these tasks and answer them. And whenever you get to the end of them, you will be uh, granted with the certification for, for um, uh, for the course, so you will be completing the course. You will get your you will get your score, and you will be getting uh, a certification from us. As you can see, in this case, the first assessment session is only six um, six pages, so you only need to follow six tasks or six questions to to get the the certificate. So this is what we wanted to show you today. Um, I think there is no questions for now. So um, if you have, if you happen to have any question, or if you want to learn a bit more about uh, Canton Academy, or uh, to undertake any of these uh, these courses, just let us know. Drop us an email to support at cantonmt.com, and we will be happy to help you. So thank you very much for attending, and we hope to see yourselves uh, into our next Tony Tech Talk. Uh, when Tony is back, obviously. So goodbye to everyone and thank you very much.